All right, now we're going to talk about, um, as a power lifter, how you know, I took it super professionally. You know, um, a lot of people, I believe, had better genetics than me. Um, I was going against extraordinary lifters at the time. Sometimes Matt competed against Ed Cohn, uh, Chuck Vogopu, um, Jesse Kellum. I mean, some of the best power, power lifters that have ever existed on the planet Earth. And so um, I, I believe that some of them, obviously guys like Ed Cohn, I, 100% believe he had better genetics than me. And so, um, well, I mean, still the best power of all time. But so I had to do something, you know, to, to equalize, you know, my lack of genetics. And so um, I became what I consider to be, what, you know, catchphrase you'll hear at Mash League Performance, a master of the mundane. I took, you know, every single little thing I could and tried to you know, maximize it, like sleep, recovery, nutrition, um, one of the coolest things I think that would have separated me from the other powerlifters is out of powerlifting meat. My, even back then when, you know, now nutrition is the big craze, you, you know, uh, you got WAG and RP and all these guys, but back then it was before all these companies were out there trying to help you guys. And so I had this nutritionist and um, she literally made my meals, prepped my meals before I would go off to a competition. <coughs> so I would take these meals with me. I had a big cooler that was on wheels. So I knew exactly what I was gonna eat after I weighed in. I knew exactly what I was gonna eat, you know, uh, right prior to, you know, squat, in between squat and bench, in between bench and deadlift. Even had um, certain drinks that, you know, kept my glycogen levels high, even while I was doing squat, bench, and deadlift. And um, I had noticed a big difference was come deadlift time, I still had all the energy in the world and a lot of my competitors were getting super tired. A lot of powerlifters are out of shape, which is, number one, that's, a, that's not very professional. I mean, like, you see um, a lot of people will think powerlifters, they'll be like, oh, they're fat. Well, not a professional powerlifter. They're gonna be, all be super lean, you know. Look at Larry Wheels now, dude is ripped. Ed Cohn was ripped, Kurt Kowalski was ripped. So um, that's another professional aspect of powerlifting is someone who realizes that being fat doesn't help. Um, but probably the most professional thing I did is I had a chiropractor, uh, Dr. Lawrence Gray here from here in Winston. He would travel with me. I would pay wherever I would wherever I would travel to. I would pay for him to come, and he would uh, be there for after you know um, squatting for after benching. He would also work on me prior. You know, there's things that chiropractors can do. Especially, let me clear clarify one thing he was a you know he was a soft tissue master so he had active release technique uh, he would take his K laser with them grassing technique and so um, he would he would prime my muscles and prepare them you know there's a big difference in in trying to like um, help them you know you hurt yourself and you do active release to try to create more damage so it heals better there's that and then there's you know there's release techniques that get you prepared to train two different um, elements there. So he would get me ready to perform, and then if anything went wrong, which it did one time, uh, there was one competition where I literally broke a rib, so he had to do a lot of work just to get me through that meet. It was terrible. But um, having him there gave me a huge advantage to the other guys. You know, uh, everybody, everybody trains hard. You're gonna hear me say this more than once. This is little things that separate, you know, the, the good athletes from the great. It's the little things. It's not the big things. Don't tell me how hard you train. Oh, I, I go to the gym, you know, nine times a week. So does everyone else. So who cares? It's the little things, you know, it's like, you know, what about your sleep? What about your eating? You know, what about your mobility? Like, you know, think of all the different things you can do to improve and do them all. And so that's becoming a professional. It's the little things. So. Hey guys, now do me a favor, go subscribe to our channel, like our videos, comment. I promise you if you comment, I'll get back to you and answer all your questions. Thanks for watching.